a simple example is when China occupied Tibet, it's like somebody moved into your house without uh, your permission, eats your best food, takes your bed, and you told to sit on the floor, sleep on the floor, and then they beat you when you didn't clean the house. They came, they occupied, they took all our resources, mineral. And when you tell them that you're, you, you shouldn't be here, can you move out? Then they beat you, shoot you, and put you in prison. I always thought at the 16 you were thinking of a party or going out with friends and, you know, have fun. And then suddenly a kid does that. Since now there's, it have, a school kid did it at the age of 16. There's, I think deep down, there's lots of uh, Tibetan school and association worries that it might become a trigger point where there'll be loads of, uh, might follow. There's not making much difference. We have done over 150 paid Tibetan people have self-immolated. And uh, in the beginning it was uh, lots of media attention and now it's growing 150 and basically we are just counting numbers nowadays. There could be lots of other things that we can do to promote Tibet and, uh, by staying alive. And uh, so therefore yeah, I think people should stop it and that's what I came here to do, tell people not to do it.